Last weekend, the future USS Minneapolis-St. Paul Navy vessel was launched at Marinette, Wisconsin. The littoral combat ship will take its place in the Navy fleet in 2020. The ship's christening and launch event was attended by Navy brass and a number of Minnesotans. And what a launch it was as the ship slid into the Menominee River sideways, making a spectacular entrance. Almanac North producer Greg Grell has more. For the United States of America, I christen thee Minneapolis, St. Paul. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her. Deputy Undersecretary of the Navy Jody Green, a native of Northfield, Minnesota, had the honor of christening the future USS Minneapolis-St. Paul at the Fink and Terry Marinette Shipyard last Saturday, June 15th. Being named the sponsor of the future USS Minneapolis-St. Paul is the honor of a lifetime, and it has given me the opportunity to reconnect with my Minnesota roots over the last few years. She and her crew will be sailing around the globe protecting the American homeland and our economic prosperity. She and her crew will be dis deterring adversaries and assuring access to maritime routes and strategic cross points. She and her crew will visit places that most of us have never been. She may even visit distant shores where the local population may not have ever met American, more or less seen the name Minneapolis St. Paul. And she and her crew will make the people of Twin Cities and the great state of Minnesota proud for decades to come. LCS-21 is a littoral combat ship capable of multiple missions. Its unique characteristics include a reconfigurable hull giving the vessel flexibility. The ship is 387 feet long with a beam of 57 feet. Its core crew will consist of 50 sailors with accommodations for up to 98. And she's fast, capable of speeds in excess of 45 knots. You know, small combatants have a very special place in the Navy arsenal. You can just picture the small combatant, even the future USS Minneapolis-St. Paul, charging head first into the melee with grit and determination and craftiness, because you can see you never want to underestimate the tactical advantages of speed and maneuverability. Littoral ships are designed to operate in more areas than a typical Navy ship, including close to shore coastline missions. She can navigate waters as shallow as 14 feet. The LCS is now the second largest ship class in the U.S. Navy, with eight ships already delivered and eight more, including the Minneapolis-St. Paul, in various stages of production and testing. Key to its mission flexibility is deck and hangar space on board for multiple helicopters. But as a helicopter pilot who has spent hundreds of nights aboard small combatants, I can tell you that I feel right at home. And when we go out to the ship and you're all there ooing and aahing over the sleek lines of the hull and the superstructure, I'm going to be eyeing that flight deck <laughs> and the big hangar and thinking about the MH-60s and the unmanned fire scouts that are gonna operate from this ship. Final fitting out will now be completed at the Marinette Shipyard, with the final steps being completing sea trials on Lake Michigan next year before delivery to the Navy. And coming up next month, Undersecretary Green will be joining us here on Almanac North. Ms. Green will join us on our July 19th show to talk about her role at the Pentagon, where she focuses on foreign policy.